Julian McMahon hasn't had an easy path to finding love. The actor's first two marriages crumbled not long after they started, and people wondered if Julian just wasn't cut out for marriage. But all that was about to change after he met Kelly Panigua. Julian knew he had to do things differently the third time around. Stay tuned because we're going to take a deep dive into Julian's love life, why his two marriages failed, and how the third time really was the charm. Many of us fell in love with Julian McMahon for his role on Charmed as the Demon Cole back in the early 2000s. A few years later, he stole our hearts yet again in the series Nip Tuck as the bad boy plastic surgeon Christian Troy. While many of his fans swooned over his good looks, many didn't know that the Australian actor comes from a very influential family. Julian's father was Australia's 20th Prime Minister, Sir William McMahon, and his mother, Lady Sonia McMahon, was a philanthropist and socialite. However, Julian decided not to follow in his father's political footsteps and decided he wanted to pursue his own dream of becoming an actor. Before he made his big break in Hollywood, Julian worked on some of Australia's TV shows like the soap opera Home and Away in the early 1990s. It was on that show that he met the Australian singer and actress Danny Minogue. We're sure that surname rings a bell, and it's because Danny is the sister of the famous singer Kylie Minogue. There aren't many details about the start of Danny and Julian's relationship, but we do know that they started dating not long after they worked together on Home and Away. News reports at the time described the popular pair as famous good-looking boy meets famous good-looking girl. It seemed like a match made in soap opera heaven. Danny shared that when she first met Julian, he stopped me in my tracks. The couple got married in 1994, but unfortunately, their marriage was off to a terrible start from the very beginning. It's not surprising to hear about divorces in Hollywood, because many couples split after only a short time together. Some of the reasons come down to busy schedules or infidelity. But for Julian and Danny, it was something entirely different and pretty shocking. His own mother was to blame. Danny recalled the press frenzy around their relationship. There was such a storm around it, and then there was the private storm of Julian's mum. And I think it must have been incredibly hard for him. It was upsetting for me, but it wasn't hard. I didn't love this woman, I didn't know her. Danny had a feeling that Julian's mother, Lady McMahon, didn't really like her from the beginning of their relationship. But she thought that after she and Julian tied the knot, that things would change. Unfortunately, Lady McMahon made her feelings about the singer very clear when she refused to attend the wedding. Danny confessed that she had no relationship with Julian's mother, adding, she wouldn't speak to me. I wasn't allowed to be near her in the house. She said she wasn't coming to the wedding. The couple had no idea how to handle the situation with Julian's mother. All they could do was try to work around it. Danny wasn't going to let Lady McMahon get in the way of her relationship with Julian because she loved him. She said, I was going to go through it no matter what. The singer admitted that Julian's mother's absence on their special day was incredibly stressful for them, but they decided to go ahead with the wedding anyway. Lady McMahon eventually changed her mind and attended the ceremony at the last minute. Sadly, Danny admitted that his mother caused a scene, although she didn't reveal any of the details. She said that the experience was hard, especially since their wedding day was supposed to be something special for her and Julian to remember. <laughs> oh my god. It was something that I just wanted to enjoy, but it was quite difficult. Danny did her best to ignore Lady McMahon for the rest of their wedding because she didn't want her to ruin the rest of her day. Unfortunately, this incident left a tainted mark on their marriage and made it difficult for her and Julian to look past it. The singer shared that Lady McMahon didn't support her son in any way, especially financially, adding, I paid for everything and I worked every day to earn that money to pay for everything. The newlyweds spent a lot of their marriage apart. Julian was in America doing his best to jumpstart his acting career in Hollywood, and Danny was working in London. The singer would travel back and forth every two weeks so that she and Julian could spend time together, but the couple was quickly running out of money. Danny was doing everything that she could to support Julian in the pursuit of his career because she thought marriage was a long-term thing. She figured that she would support Julian until his career finally gained some traction, and then they would be able to support each other. Unfortunately, things didn't get any easier for the couple as the months went by. Danny admitted, Then the marriage was off. It was a huge struggle emotionally, physically, mentally, financially. Lady McMahon apparently didn't care how much Julian loved Danny because she never blessed their relationship. Well, if you want it, then here's, here are the rules that go with it. And if you don't want to deal with that, then don't. Danny was never accepted into the family and her marriage to Julian was never taken seriously or supported. The singer believes Lady McMahon's issue with her was that she wasn't from the same stock as her son. 
Danny explained, There's a certain social pecking order, and I was definitely not in that scene. Lady McMahon only spoke to me a couple of times. The situation was so uncomfortable that Danny couldn't even enter her husband's family home. There was one incident when Julian had to collect something from his parents' home, and she had to stay in the car. Minogue never understood why Julian's mother never liked her and thought she had maybe done something wrong to upset her, but that was never the case. Eventually, she figured that Lady McMahon never believed that she was right for Julian, and that was reason enough for her to not like Danny. What's more, Danny learned that Julian's relationship with his mother had already been strained for many years, and his marriage seemed to be the reason things got worse. Unfortunately, Danny and Julian divorced after only 18 months of marriage, and it was alleged that his mother was the one who pushed for the breakup. The singer revealed that her short marriage to Julian shaped her, but the experience was hard on all of them. The unhealthy dynamic between Julian, his family, and Danny was too much of a burden on their marriage, and they realized that it wasn't something that was going to change. After their divorce in 1995, they never spoke again. Sadly, Lady McMahon passed away in 2010 after a battle with cancer. Danny shared that while she and Julian hadn't spoken in many years, she hoped he made amends with his mum before she died. She said, I hope Julian resolved things with her before she passed away. I'm not in touch with Julian now. I'd like to be, but I know we're never going to be friends. Following his divorce from Danny, Julian went on to get married again in 1999 to Brooke Burns. The couple met around the time when the actress started to appear in the hit series, Baywatch. Their acting agents arranged for the pair to go together to the premiere of a movie, and they had an instant connection. Before they knew it, a romance had blossomed, and they had fallen hard and fast for one another. Julian proposed to Brooke at the end of 1999, and they were married just two weeks later. The couple welcomed their first child together, a daughter they named Madison, in June 2000. Unfortunately, their newlywed bliss was short-lived, and they divorced in 2001 after Brooke found out that Julian had cheated on her with his charmed co-star, Shannon Doherty. Brooke found out about the affair after reading about it in the tabloids. Julian admitted to the infidelity after she confronted him about it, and Brooke was completely heartbroken by the betrayal. It was the drop that made the vase overflow. He's a good father. It's funny, he was really great when we were together, but I imagine that he got carried away by all the hoopla in Los Angeles, she explained. Just two years later, Julian met Australian model Kelly Panigua. The details of how they met are unclear, but following his two failed marriages, Julian approached his relationship with Kelly very differently. The couple decided to take things slowly rather than rush into marriage like Julian had done before. After going through two very messy breakups, Julian didn't want to make any more mistakes in his new relationship. Over the next few years, the couple appeared at several red carpet events together, and they seemed to be incredibly happy. It wasn't until they had been together for 10 years that Julian decided that he wanted to propose to Kelly. His daughter, Madison, was the one who encouraged him to pop the question. Initially, Julian had planned to propose when they all arrived for their holiday in Paris. However, after discussing the situation with his then 14-year-old daughter, McMahon changed his mind and asked Kelly to marry him during the flight. In 2014, Julian proposed to Kelly a thousand meters up in the air, and Kelly said yes. Six months later, the couple got married and celebrated with a surprise ceremony surrounded by their closest family and friends. As of 2023, Julian and Kelly have been married for nine years and together for 20 years. It's clear that the actor's decision to do things differently with his relationship with Kelly was a good idea because they've been happy and together ever since. Marriages aren't always easy, and sometimes there can be a lot of outside influences that can make things even more difficult. While it's unfortunate that his previous two didn't work out, there's no doubt that Julian has met his perfect match with Kelly, and we couldn't be happier for the couple. We wish them only the best for their future together.